a.m. Well, doctors across Connecticut continue to remind people that an emergency is still an emergency and they should be going to the emergency room if necessary and despite any fears they might have about COVID. So what can you expect if you have to go to the ER? Joining us now to talk about this is Dr. Diedzik, Mark, R. Mark Diedzik, Chief of Emergency Medicine at Hartford HealthCare's Mid-State Medical Center in Meriden. Doctor, welcome. Hi. So we've been talking about this for months, but the truth is some people may be putting off emergency care. What are you seeing at Mid-State? We see department because they have concerns over COVID. Uh, in the emergency department where treatment is time sensitive, like stroke and heart attack. And the longer you wait, the less we have an opportunity to do the most uh, time sensitive interventions that we can. Uh, even with diagnoses that aren't time sensitive, by delaying coming to the emergency department, it can mean that you're going to be sicker by the time you get here, which will mean a longer time in the hospital and a longer time until you fully recover. So hopefully more segments like these will save lives by helping people feel safe coming in to see us. All right, great advice. What protocols in place to minimize the spread of the virus? Hospital staff, patients, and visitors are screened for symptoms, and they have their temperature taken. If you're a visitor and you screen positive, you're not allowed in the building. As for patients, if you screen positive and there's a concern that you might have COVID, you're immediately put into isolation, which means that other people. In addition, staff, all patients, and all visitors are required to wear masks while at the hospital, and all we've changed our waiting areas to allow for appropriate social distancing so that if you're in a waiting area with your mask on, everything is completely safe. All right, if someone comes into the emergency room and they have COVID, how do you ensure the safety of employees and other patients who are there as well? Now, uh, when someone comes in and they have COVID or even if there's just a suspicion for COVID, they are put in isolation as we call it. and this by a sign outside the room so that people know we also put it in our electronic medical record. This allows the staff taking care of the patient to know that they need to escalate their personal protective equipment, putting on the respirator, the eye protection, and a, a full covering gown so that we protect ourselves from getting it on our clothes and transmitting it to other patients. All of this helps keep us safe so that we don't get COVID. It helps reduce transmission to other patients, which helps reduce transmission overall. All right, Dr. Mark Diedzik, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.